A cravat is probably the last thing you want to see while you're paragliding. They're generally caused by a violent dive forwards and sideways, folding the wingtip into the centre and getting caught in the tip lines. Or also by a messy stall release, where the glider's released whilst the wingtips are still in front. I'm going to show you a full stall with a, a sport glider, which is high aspect ratio, a little bit racier, and there's a higher chance of it cravatting. And that's what I want to do. I want to get it into a cravat so that I can show you uh, how to get out of it. So we'll just stall it. OK, back I go. And now ease it off now. That's good, I've got a small cravat. So it's turning me left, which is great. So all I do is weight shift right, like that, pull the stabiliser line, and it should come out or pump it, and it comes out straight away. No problems there, really. That was a small cravat, not a very big one. Still quite fun. So the process is you gain your course. It can be a sort of turning course, as long as you've got load on the wing and it's positive. And then you can pump on the brakes or go for the stabiliser line, OK, and pop it out. And if that doesn't work, then do an asymmetric tuck on the cravatted side. That normally relieves the pressure and allows you to pump the cravat out. And if that doesn't work, obviously you stall it out. But it's good, once you're in a 360, smooth, you've got the opposite brake on, you're controlling it. Uh, you can actually, whilst you've got the pressure on, pull the stabiliser line as well. And because you've got the pressure, it tugs it out and it comes straight out. I've still got a cravat there, look. I've still got a cravat on my right, I didn't look at it. So let's see, I'm going to do a stabiliser tug. I'm just pulling on the loose lines. And it should come out, no, nearly. And it's straight out. OK, so we pull the stabiliser line and it pulled straight out. That's what you do. See, the glider is so beautifully calm, I didn't even know. Shocking, shocking flying. Anyway. So you can see how a minor cravat needn't disturb your flight. Don't get fixated on it if the glider is flying OK, and don't turn a minor mishap into a crisis. Here's Aussie Greg keeping his Gallipoli nerve when a cravat sets in during a toe takeoff. He stays on toe and lets the glider fly while assessing any course correction that's needed. Just keep flying, we'll get it out when you get up there. If you're happy with that. Okay, release, release, release. Brake, brake, brake. Okay, left brake, left brake. Just enough to hold your course, don't overreact because you've got a cravat. Okay, left brake, left weight shift, put on the outside. Despite resisting all attempts to get rid of it, it's relatively benign. It's good, lovely control. But you can see that even a small one can be tenacious, so you have to be quick at assessing the correct action to take. You're going to land now. No wing overs because that cravat will really roll you in. But make sure you always turn to the cravatted side, monitoring it with the outside brake as you turn. Because if you turn too hard away from the cravatted side, it could stall or spin, especially if you're going through wind gradient. So let's go back to Turkey and create a more challenging cravat. So we'll fly along. Ready? Bury the brake. OK, round I go. OK, it's going round. Not nice, so I stall it. Good. Now I smoothly release. Oops, it's, it is cravatted. OK. Okay, that's great. Good, I've got a cravat. That's lovely. So let's see it. So here's the cravat. I'm going for the stabiliser line, which is the B. Give it a little tug. And it's not quite coming out then. Let's go for the stabiliser line properly. There you go, it's coming out. Nearly. Go for the loose line. Give it a pump maybe. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Here's the loose line. There you go, stabiliser pull. Here it comes, hey, it's out. You see, that's how to get it out. You keep your course, don't panic, obviously, and settle yourself down, then look at the problem, okay? Always look, right, I've got a cravat, I've got to deal with that, but am I high enough to deal with that? Yes, okay, back to the problem. 
And so you start pulling the stabilizer lines, give it a good tug or any loose line. If you don't know where it is, just pull any loose line and it should come out. Or a little sort of tug, pump on the brakes. Or people can, you can sort of big ear as well to give you symmetry. If you feel as though the cravat's turning you a lot, then pulling both big ears on can often make you symmetric and then help you get the cravat out. There's lots of techniques, but uh, stabilizer on's normally quite good. Another one you can do is, if it's cravatted and you're in a banking turn, then whilst you've still got the pressure on, then stabilizer pull, and that pops it out because you've got more air rammed into it. So that's a good one too. So that was a medium hard cravat. Now look at an even bigger cravat. This would really pull you into a locked in cravatted spiral, if not corrected quickly. So I pull on my brakes, of course, and correct. I pump. It's almost out. I've got a lot of weight shift. Okay, it's still in. There you go. Nearly, nearly out. Taking a wrap on the left brake now. I've got more of the cravat out. Okay. Okay, so that's in. Cravat is in. So I'm going to stall it again. Just fall back gently. Now it's out. So I now ease off let it come out and recover. So there you go. You keep, uh, you keep the opposite weight shift, opposite brake, and then you try and pump out the cravat. If it doesn't come out with a pump, then it's quite big, because it's so big that there's not much brake being pulled. So you can take a wrap, like I did, and it comes out a little bit and it becomes more manageable. But the important thing is keep the pressure on, keep a turn on, that's fine, don't stall this side. Then if you think, well, I can't get it out by pumping, it's too big to get it out by pulling the stabilizer line. So just stall it, it flies backwards a little bit. You can see the cravat coming out easily and then you ease off the brakes and fly away. So that's a nicer way. And you can see that with higher end gliders, that's the best way to get it out. You don't need to fully stall it, you just need to fly it backwards clear the cravat, ease off the brakes, and fly away. Always be quick to nip a cravat in the bud, because they can come in with very violent, dynamic forces, and it's vital that you match your recovery to suit that force, and get the glider back to pilotable flight as soon as possible.